Days Gone. When I first heard about this game, I was a bit... I was a bit... I wasn't... I was unsure, to be honest. I didn't really know what to think of it. But I looked at gameplay footage, and until I actually bought it, I felt like after that, I played it, and I could see that, yes, this... <laughs> I just said to myself, I'm quite thankful that I actually bought Days Gone. Hello everyone, welcome to a review video of the newest PlayStation Store exclusive called Days Gone. Here's the intro. Days Gone. We've seen great gameplay footage of this throughout the years, but until I actually bought it, I didn't know how much fun I would have. Now, in the beginning of all of this, you will find it difficult. You'll find everything about it difficult, to be honest, because you're at the learning point. But then, there'll be a certain point for people and myself where you would get used to it, and by the end of the game, you should be nailing it. You should have. Like, now I'm used to how the shooting works. Do I think it's bad? Um, for new players, they're obviously going to think that, but for me, I think it's quite all right, I do. Now, how you, like, for instance, uh, ride on your bike, it is quite fine, to be honest. There's a lot of things about this that is quite fine. The story and the campaign, uh, I love it. Honestly, there's a lot of crying moments, and the theme tunes that they pick is just amazing. There's so much that I love about this game. But then I can also understand from a certain point where this could be like a downgrade of the other PlayStation exclusives. Now please note that I did one in, one into some bugs, but not too many. Um, to be honest, some of the bugs that happened were quite useful in a way. Um, and ever since I bought the game, they've at least released at least six patches for the game, so I feel like they're doing a good job overall. I feel like one of the things that me and many other players will experience, which will be like the highest thing, are frame rates. I never experienced frame rates dropping before, but this is the first game that I've actually experienced it, and from what I can tell, well, it can get you killed because it slows down the game. So hopefully this is something that they are working towards and hopefully they can actually, well, solve it. Now I'm not going to talk much about the story, but all I will say is that storylines work in different areas. You do have side missions, but then you have job missions, which also are part of the story, and then you have these little missions. They go from different colours, like Lelo being the main missions, White being the littler missions, which don't really mean much, but they're just there. The orange um, missions means that they are part of drops that other people give you, and then uh, finally, I think those are all the colours. But how the storylines work is that there are different storylines to basically do, and if you, for instance, do this mission, they can also have additional storylines that will come to it that you can also complete. And yes, you can complete them all by the end of the game. So, what do I think of it? Many players, when they first play this, they're going to feel angry, they're going to feel frustrated, they're probably going to think there's not many herds in there. And just to be clear, they're not called zombies, they're called freaks. Because zombies are stuff like you see in Western Evil, but then... Uh, a freak is a freak in Days Gone. So yeah, many people will find this game frustrating, but if you give it time, you will enjoy it. I know there are some parts in the game where you might find it to be boring in a way, but if you give it time and if you keep doing what you need to do in like mainline missions or side missions or whatever, eventually you will complete it. Now. At a certain point in the game, herds, I think they're already in there. 
from the start of it, but they don't start showing up on your map until a certain point in the game, so maybe that's something quite useful. Anyway, what do I give Days Gone? Well, unlike IGN with their shit waiting system, I'm going to give this game a 9 out of 10. It would be a 10 out of 10 if they could fix their bugs and their issues and all that, but a 9 out of 10. I've cried at multiple points, the theme tunes are amazing, and Sam Whitner, who plays Deacon, is just amazing, and this is why I love this act so much. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next four months.